Hey, this is Matt with St. Bonaventure University Cyber 501 Week 4 Lab, Lab 4.2, doing a denial of service attack. So I'm going to attack a, a victim on my own network. Um, I've got this running on um, a hypervisor with a 1 gig port on my, in my basement, and we're attacking it from uh, a virtual host, Kali, with a 100 meg port. So we'll see how that works out. It should be interesting. As you can see, I've tested this a few times already. Uh, my network traffic over here through Proxmox on the CentOS VM. This CentOS VM also, we're going to try to reach it uh, through Windows XP. Um, this has the OSEC web UI from a previous lab. As you can see, it's pretty snappy um, as far as looking at the website. And we can ping it, and it's back. Okay, so let's switch gears over to. Uh, oh, I also have a um, SSH session from my Windows 10 machine um, running to that box as well. So we'll see what we can knock offline with EdderCap. Pop EdderCap open. We're gonna start our sniffing. Uh, we're going to, oh, let's watch here um, on Wireshark as well. So let's make sure we're getting some Wireshark traffic. There we are. I'm gonna load, um, Let's see, let's get a host list to scan for hosts. Make sure that we are actually able to see that machine. And there it is. Got a lot of stuff on my network. And we're going to run a DOS stack. It's going to ask us for the victim IP. And it's going to ask us for a fake host as well, which we will use. Uh, Something random. Yeah, okay, sure. As soon as I click OK, we should see some action start to occur. And there we go. We've got action going on here uh, in Wireshark, where the denial of service attack is running from Edercap and Kali against the uh, CentOS VM. And that was quick. Yeah, I can't get. Any page, as you can see, you can't get a page to open on that machine. Uh, let's pull my SSH session over. See, I expected that. Um, like I said, we're on a gig pipe uh, on that CentOS VM. SSH session is remaining alive, even though the editor cap adds port 22, looks like it tries to attack it. It's not as successful there. But it certainly has taken down 480. Um, and that's the thing about denial of surface tech. It uses um, you know, something that will uh, work against the port, the service of the host machine to slow it down um, from one source. It's not distributed, it's a single, single source. So we're using some type of vulnerability potentially on the Apache web server or how, how uh, HTTP works to take this site down from just one source. But um, EdderCap's obviously not able to take down um, something with a much larger pipe on SSH. Switching gears, we're now going to attempt the similar attack now with um, Metasploit or Armitage. I'm going to run the SIN flood against the host on 1.199. So we're going to pop that open and make sure our host is correct. We're just going to leave these options uh, as the default and launch it. And it is launching. Let's check Wireshark to see that uh, we are generating traffic. Um, our packets being sent off at the uh, at that host. And but site's not down. This is expected um, for two reasons. One is obviously we're attacking from 100 meg uplink uh, to a gigabyte port on my a managed switch. So the server's got a lot more throughput. Uh, the single host generating just SIN traffic isn't going to take it down. And the modern Apache web server that's attacking uses SIN cookies. Um, so it's just going to be taking that um, SIN flood and kind of just tossing it aside, aside and, and letting the memory free up so it is it's not going to by itself one sin flood is not going to take down a modern 
uh, web server. Um, and it's just pop up in the uh, network traffic on the on there on the um, Proxmox virtual station here. As you see, it's just not doing it to the extent. This isn't real time. Give it a second and might get some more traffic. You're definitely generating a decent amount of traffic here um, against that machine, but it's not enough to bring it down like the um, the editor cap DOS attack was able to. Now there you go, you see a big spike there now. So it's a lot of traffic, like I said, but it's just the uh, Apache web server with some cookies and the amount of traffic that that machine can handle. Is just kind of tossing this single attack aside. Whereas um, I haven't looked into what the editor cap attack does specifically. It might be like a slow Loris or something that against sp a specific vulnerability for HTTP and 480 um, that was able to really grind it. It's probably it was leaving like um, unclosed connections or something like that. I'm going to look that up after this lab just to, just to find out why did the editor cap. Um, DOS attack work against my web server when this inflict did not. I know this inflict when I mean, this is an older attack. I'm, I'm familiar with it. Um, so, great. This is a pretty cool lab. Um, forward to the next one. Um, there you have it. Edercap DOS attack worked against this web server. Synflood did not.